this becomes the most delicious and most fun way to eat because your taste buds, when you get healthier, your taste buds get healthier and stronger. You can enjoy the flavor of food more. When you learn the delicious recipes you can make, you realize there's no diminishing in enjoyment from food. It actually, you have enhanced enjoyment from food and you don't have to eat thimble sized portions of food. You can eat as much as you feel like eating without becoming overweight because your body doesn't want to overeat anymore and, you don't have to, and, you, and the food is not so fattening anyway. So it, it really frees you up and then it frees you up to devote your energies to what you want to accomplish in your life because you have more clarity of thinking and you're more creative. Start off by just trying it out at least you know one or two days a week or one, try one vegan meal for lunch, um, just taking it in steps. And once you see how easy it is, then you can just eventually flip the switch. Just pick one thing, one tiny change, whatever it is, no matter how small it is or how insignificant it feels, just take one step. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. If, if you don't try it, you'll never know. And you'll believe all these naysayers or these doubters that say that you can't survive on a vegan diet. You can never get enough protein on a vegan diet. You become vitamin B12 deficient on a vegan diet. And all these people that just put these thoughts in your head and that scares you to try it. Uh, but just live it for, for a while. You know, all of us here are vegan and none of us have died yet. <laughs> we all very happy, healthy people and we're thriving. Just give it a try. And I, there's no more convincing needed. If you do it the right way, You'll feel the results within a couple weeks and you'll instantaneously know exactly what we're talking about and why we love it so much. Don't think about forever. If you're, if it makes you sad, like I'll never eat meat again. It's like, no, for three weeks. And if after 21 days of an investment, you don't see something that makes you realize the power you have over your own health, whether it's, oh, my skin got better. I breathe better. I can run better. My energy's higher. Um, to I lost weight, my cholesterol fell, my blood sugars are under control. It just, it runs the gamut and you will find one thing if you just do it for three weeks. But all of those things are actually improving. Don't judge yourself too much if you're not gonna go 100% plant-based tomorrow. Just explore, have fun with foods that you might not um, have in your regular rotation. So try out some new plant foods or some plant foods that you know you like, but you just kind of got out of the habit of eating and just enjoy eating them. Just enjoy it. Just, just diversify. And you might like it so much that you start moving along that spectrum towards being more plant-based or even fully plant-based. And, and just, it's just about, um, moving in that direction. And typically the farther you go, the more benefits you see in terms of health. Focus on the short term. There's no need for a long-term commitment. Just give it a try. It's like test driving a car. Drive it around the block and if you fall in love with it, you can buy it. Um, test drive a vegan diet, drive it around the block, do it for about three weeks time and I think you're gonna love it. You don't have to wait for your doctor to tell you to stop smoking. You don't need to tell, wait for your doctor to tell you to start eating healthy. You can do that all on your own. The only caveat is if you are on medications, if you are on blood pressure lowering medications, if you're on blood sugar lowering medications like diabetes pills, then it's critical to do it along with your doctor because you will become rapidly over medicated. Your disease will get better. You can't take the same amount of drugs. Your disease gets better. You can drop your blood pressures too low. You can drop your blood sugars too low literally within days and can actually be quite serious. So your doctor has to wean you off these drugs as your disease gets better, as your body starts healing itself. Um, and so you need to do that with your doctor so they can pull off the insulin. They can pull off these blood pressure lowering medications. So then uh, you don't uh, run into serious problems. One of the things that I always lead from is I think to myself when I'm 80 or 90 or 100 or whatever that time is in my life where I'm old and I have either white hair or no hair and I'm in the rocking chair and I'm looking back on my life, I'm not going to think as much about the things that I accomplished as I probably will the things I wish I'd done. Like what doors and avenues could have been opened had I taken that risk that I kept walking away from because I was scared, because I came up with some reason. So for me, use that notion of you want to be completely discovered. 
there's so much about you that's undiscovered right now. And if you can be a curious person and truly feel like whatever state your life is in right now, you can have more. I say take the leap and just figure the rest out once you've made the decision. Once you make the decision, it's actually not that hard. It's not that hard to find recipes, to find things you like, to find other people who do this. It's actually not that hard. It's the decision that's hard. So what I normally tell them is, why don't you just give yourself a period of time to try it? You can always go back to meat and dairy. You can always go back to that if you want to. But why not give yourself six months? And if you're not willing to do that, two months, three months, give yourself a period of time just to see and experience it. And if you want to stop, you always can. But I think that's when people think about it as forever, that's when they get scared. I'll never have a burger. Ah, you will never want it again. But I think that's the hardest part. Give yourself... Just if you can't make the decision as permanent, just give yourself a period of time and just go for it. You won't believe the the rejuvenation and the repair that occurs in like a quarter of the time on plants compared to eating meat and dairy. It's mind blowing. Jump in. Start where you are. Don't try to um, go from eating eggs and bacon in the morning to kale smoothies. Um, maybe just look at doing one day a week um, to begin with that's completely animal product free. And... Um, eat the same sort of foods but just a plant-based version of those foods so if you're eating in the morning eggs and bacon want to have some tofu scramble um and you know some avocado um and then if you're eating at, at night if you're eating spaghetti bolognese or something like that just make a plant-based version of that so uh, use some um some of the um uh, the vegan meats if you if you will uh, to help you transition but just start where you are don't try and change everything that you do just keep um but but give it a go and listen to your body get some biofeedback uh if you start to feel better about it you start to feel more aligned uh with your values as well whatever your motivating uh, reason is uh listen to that listen to what your body's trying to tell you uh, and i think for most people they experience a really great sense of energy and um uh, and improvement in health add stuff you love to what you're already eating that happens to also be a plant. The process should not suck, it should be amazing. And if you're not loving it, you're not doing it right. And ask someone for help who's seen people through this process. Just do it, stop thinking about it and do it. Cause I know a lot of people like are very curious, but they're like, I'm not sure what other people might think, or I'm not sure how to start. Just do it and live by example and educate yourself. Be brave enough to move forward and try something new. Because getting stuck in your old ways and stuck in your and staying stuck in your old patterns creates more of the same thing. And people are enticed by the plant-based movement because of what they see around them now. And they want to take that first step, but they're afraid. And I say be brave. Have no fear because you can only gain from going into this. And you can become a completely new person by getting into this. Going into a plant-based diet will give you a brand new life. You can't explain how important that is to people that have gone you know, along this path for so long with these habits that have taken them into situations of poor health and poor relationships, and this will it, it will, it will change your life. What do you got to lose? Here's what you got to lose. You could lose your health. You could lose your mobility. You could literally lose your life. That's what you got to lose. People say, what's the risk? What's the risk if you don't? So if you're like teetering on the fence right now and you're kind of on the edge and maybe you're dipping your toe in, you're like, oh, it's cold. I just want to say um, that I actually, it actually matters a lot more um, what you do long term than what you do for five minutes. So I'm interested in sustainable sustained long-term habit change. You know, water is what carved the Grand Canyon, but it didn't happen in a day. It's what you do day in and day out, week in and week out, year in and year out that charts the course of your destiny. So think for the long haul. This is not a fad. This is not a diet plan that you jump in and jump out. This is a new way of living. The invitation is wide. The opportunity is here. So what can you do to step forward to create the life and the health and the vitality that you deserve now and for the long haul?